A big thing about DSP is it really helps brands with their incrementality. So they're already doing great on their search side of the business, and now they want to capture those different users and gain more sales and recapturing. So it's kind of like if you're in a brick and mortar store, instead of just focusing on maybe a quick end cap or within your aisle, now it's looking at where are those adjacencies across the store that can still be impactful. So coming from the Frito-Lay days, so instead of just maybe chips in your aisle, Tostito chips, tortilla chips can go really well in the produce section with avocados, tomatoes, and onions where there's guacamole. So it's that same type of idea with the Amazon display side. We're trying to create those adjacencies and get people outside of your normal mindset or category to purchase. So with DSP, there's a lot more variety. So we'll go on the next couple slides and we'll see all the different types, but there's so many different types of advertisements that you can participate in and, and test and learn. Um, there's also retargeting, which really comes to close to the purchase part of that funnel. So a lot of people think of more search as only that area that can really drive conversion, but display can as well. And then there's also more creative freedoms in um, in those different ad types to, to be a little bit more experimental. And instead of just that product image, can even bring in celebrities and other cool background images, as well as coupons and deals. So how you can complement your ad strategy with DSP. So in that display ads, you can reach a full funnel. And um, at Amazon, we called it fueling the flywheel. So it's looking at how can we cover every single section of that funnel. So starting at awareness where it's the largest, so that's the most amount of people, then consideration, then purchase, and then loyalty. So that's people who've bought it in the past, people who engage and subscribe and save. And at each of these different levels, there's different KPIs. And if it's something where you're really focused on ROAS, return on ad spend, that's best suited for purchase. If it's something looking at subscribe and save, um, subscriptions, that's something more looking at that loyalty. For consideration, that's focusing a lot on the detail page view rate. So that's looking at how many people are looking at that specific listing product page on Amazon. And then that click-through rate is the best KPI for awareness, just to see how many people have seen your advertisement and how many people are then engaged to click into it.